All right, a man suspected of killing an Iowa college student and hiding her body in a cornfield is due in court today. 24-year-old Christian Bahina Rivera is being charged with the first-degree murder of Molly Tibbetts. Rivera is an undocumented immigrant who lived near Tibbetts. She disappeared on July 18th while out for a jog. Police believe they have found her body. Adriana Diaz is in Powsha County Jail in Montezuma, Iowa. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. Behind me is where Christian Bahana Rivera is being held on $1 million bail. If convicted, he faces life in prison without parole. Police sifted through more than 4,000 tips, but they say it was home surveillance video that was the critical piece of evidence that helped them crack the case. A body was discovered early this morning. We believe it to be the body of Molly Tibbetts. The search for 20-year-old Molly Tibbetts came to a somber end Tuesday in a cornfield off this dirt road about 12 miles from where she went missing. Christian Bahina Rivera, age 24, has been charged with murder in the first degree. The big break came over a week ago when investigators obtained surveillance video showing Tibbetts jogging. They noticed a black Chevy Malibu following her. Police traced the car to Rivera and brought him in for questioning Monday. He tells us that he sees Molly running. He actually tells us that he ran alongside of her or behind her. Rivera says Tibbetts threatened to call police. She took off running. He in turn chased her down. And then he tells us that at some point in time he blacks out. In the affidavit, police say Rivera told them when he came to, he found Tibbetts' body in his trunk and noticed blood on the side of her head. He dragged Tibbetts on foot to a secluded location in a cornfield. After the interview, police say Rivera guided them to that location from memory. Investigators have been searching this area for weeks. Why was she not found before? There were corn stalks placed over the top of her, and so we just weren't able to locate her. Police didn't definitively say Rivera and Tibbetts were strangers. He tells us that he had seen her before, but beyond that, I won't be able to say anymore. Last night, President Trump suggested the murder could have been prevented. You heard about today with the illegal alien coming in very sadly from Mexico, and you saw what happened to that incredible, beautiful young woman. Should have never happened. Rivera, who's lived in the area four to seven years, worked at a nearby dairy farm that's owned by the family of a local Republican leader named Craig Lang. In a statement, the farm said Rivera passed a government screening that deemed him eligible to work. Molly Tippett's family isn't commenting at this time, but we saw them here outside at the police briefing while the suspect was being held inside. Such a tragic end to a story that really captivated the entire country. Adriana, thank you. The Colorado man accused of killing his pregnant wife and two young daughters showed no emotion at court hearing on the charges. Christopher Watts wore an orange jumpsuit and shackles yesterday as a judge told him he was charged with nine felonies, including first-degree murder. Watts did not enter a plea. Newly released video shows the oil drums where investigators found the girls' bodies last week. Their mother's body was found nearby, buried in a shallow grave. Investigators say they also found a bed sheet that matched others in the Watts home. Prosecutors will decide in the next two months if they will seek the death penalty.